Hi everyone, my name is Keihan. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to talk about uh, one common phenomena, which is a common and simple problem in computational fluid dynamics. Here I prepared a PowerPoint to explain more about von Karman. Then we are going to uh, create in geometry and mesh and assess fluent and make an animation about this phenomenon. In the beginning, I want to briefly explain about von Karman. Actually, what is von Karman? Von Karman is the result of the honesty separation of the flow around a body. Uh, the body can be a cylinder, a rectangle, a pipe, an airfoil, and a fuselage of an airplane, anything, you name it. After the flow separates from the surface of the body, it will create a repeating pattern of swirling vortices. Its formation strongly depends on the velocity of the flow and subsequently uh, the Reynolds number. And as it is obvious, the Reynolds depends on uh, density, free stream velocity, uh, characteristic length, and the dynamic viscosity. In this project, we assume that uh, the air is the fluid around the body, and our body is a cylinder. It, and uh, this study is actually two-dimensional, so we don't have any a pipe or uh, or a three-dimensional uh, body. At the basics, they uh, at the temperature of 20 degrees Celsius, we have uh, this characteristic for the air: uh, 1.222 kilogram per me cubic meter is for density, and our characteristic length, which is related to the cylinder and it's actually related to the body um, and it differs from the uh, other geometries for for example for an airfoil it's, it's cord and for the uh, for a channel is a length so it, it should be calculated by each problem and each geometry the free stream velocity has been set 10 meter per second or 8 meter per second in the following and the dynamic viscosity is 1.79 uh, multiplied 10 power minus 5 kilogram per meter second. After calculation, the Reynolds number will be 10 power 6, which surely is a turbulent stream. For the record, I need to mention that the uh, if the Reynolds number is more than 2300, is a, a turbulent stream, and below this number is a laminar stream. For creating a geometry, we have a 10D a square and a cylinder, which is an uh, empty hole on this uh, fluid domain uh, with the diameter of D. And in our calculation, the D is 1 meter and actually it's actually 10 meter square. In ANSYS Fluent setup, we are going to choose K omega SST as our turbulent model since the uh, behavior of the fluid round cylinder is more important than the behavior of fluid far field. We are going to check the material uh, should be air and the density and dynamic viscosity should be checked with the uh, our uh, calculation setup. We are going to check boundary conditions and set the inlet velocity 8 meter per second and our pressure outlet as 0 pascal. We set the, the reference value as inlet. We are going to set solution metal as simple and second order for all variables. The initialization should be started from the inlet. For saving a one time step, our calculation auto save should be set as one. And uh, our time step is 0.05 second. And the number of time step is 500. So uh, in sum, we have 25 second. Uh, animation. Our iteration number is 60. It needs to be mentioned that the time step value, which is 0.05 second, uh, should be stay low because of the current number. So if, if you're going to change this number, you need to be very careful. Here we're going to create our geometry. 
so we are going to select our one common which has been created before so uh, in here we are going to create a new fluent setup uh, we click on the new design modeler uh, for creating the geometry uh, I'm going to choose the rectangular as a Floyd domain for creating Floyd domain and the circle for the cylinder now I'm going to choose the dimension so click on the semi-automatic and set the variables and the values for each dimension I'm going to first check the uh, units uh, which is meter so I'm going to set one meter diameter of the cylinder and I'm going to select 20 meter square uh, which is symmetrical and 10 meter for each side after addressing the values for the dimension I'm going to the modeling and uh, from the concept and service from sketches I'm going to create a new sketch I need to select the sketch and apply it and then generate the sketch to SK1 so I'm going to I have created the Floyd domain and I'm going to name it as the Von Karman Floyd domain I, you need it need to be mentioned that uh, the selection should be Floyd here so our geometry is done After that, we are going to create a mesh and grid generation. Create uh, the default mesh to check the uh, quality and set the uh, set uh, my own variables here we are going to quality and uh, select mesh metric as orthogonal quality and uh, in each step we are going to check it it should be near its average should be near uh, one I'm going to select the edge and I'm going to uh, select the edge of the cylinder and uh, from the inside I'm going to choose sizing uh, 0 0.01 meter has been selected for the edge sizing of the cylinder I'm going to generate mesh and to, to see how it look like and how about our quality so if we check the mesh it's actually a pretty good uh, but it needs to be more editing so select the whole body and press mm, the sizing of the body and uh, I'm going to set 0 0.5 meter as uh, my element size so then generate the mesh and check the quality and the mesh after that I'm going to choose the uh, method and I'm going to set uh, this method um, as the whole body I'm going to set this method as triangle I'm going to add an inflation uh, I'm going to set the whole body as my geometry and the uh, one edge of the cylinder as my boundary then I'm going to create a mesh and see what look like yeah, it's, um, I forgot to set the maximum layers. Uh, I need, I'm going to set the 10 meter as my maxim, maximum layers and check the generated mesh. Now if we check the layers, it's proper. And... Uh, So if we check the quality, 0 0.97, which is a good uh, quality. After that, I'm going to name all the boundaries. I'm going to name the cylinder as cylinder and um, checking the inlet and outlet and the symmetry.
after that, after checking the boundary condition, we are going to update our mesh. Part 5 is about ANSYS Fluent. After upgrading mesh, uh, we open ANSYS Fluent. Reading the mesh by the ANSYS, uh, we set the uh, the general setup as the transient since the, the time is uh, involved in this process and set the turbulence model as k omega sst as you mentioned earlier after that uh, check the uh, material which should be air and the density is uh, 1.225 and in the cells and conditions uh, check the air should be as the fluid uh, material in the boundary condition a stationary wall and no slip velocity and there is no slip velocity um, condition boundary condition in the inlet uh, boundary condition set 8 meter per second as the inlet condition Check the zero pascal as a pressure outlet and our outlet boundary condition. The symmetry is the symmetry, and on the reference values, uh, set the inlet. Uh, so the, the computation uh, start from the inlet, which is eight meter per second, as we uh, set earlier. And in the method, uh, our scheme is simple and all the variables should be uh, set on second variable, second order. The initialization should be hybrid uh, initialization. Uh, it's done. Uh, it, it's mentioned that the hybrid initialization is done. And for the calculation uh, auto save, set uh, one as our every time step. So each time step, uh, all the variables and the results will be saved and prepared to be used for the anime creating animation. In the run calculation uh, process, uh, set it in, set the 0 0.05 0 0.05 second as a, our time step size, and the number of time steps should be 500. Uh, maximum iteration is 60 part 6 is about the animation so as you can see this is a calculation is, is completed so we save the process and close the ANSYS fluent and um, head for the results which is CFT post after the data has been summoned by the CFT post we go to creating counter and uh, set the uh, velocity as the variable and global as our range and apply it The location should be summary 1 and then apply it. The range uh, is uh, the default, but you can uh, user specify that maximum and minimum range of our velocity is up to you and up to your problem. Going to animation and uh, selecting the time step animation and here you should press to uh, address the saving movie location uh, I already saved that but uh, again I'm going to save another movie 8 meter per second is our velocity so after defining the address uh, we uh, start the animation from the beginning to save it as you click on the uh, playing 
uh, the animation would be saved on the address. So we just wait until the animation is completed. That's it, that's our animation which has been finished and uh, it has been saved on the address that you set. If we close the CFD post, we can go and find our animation on the address. This is how a Von Karman one karma phenomena is around a cylinder and you can check with the other objects surely it's uh, with lower um, turbulency uh, for the shape like airfoil and it's higher turbulency like a rectangle thank you for watching have a nice day